Revelation, the closed book open. Hello, welcome back to Midship Ministries, where we continue to study the book of Revelation. Today we are going to begin lesson number six. And as we, <clears throat> as usual, well, our lesson today is the apocalyptic censor. The apocalyptic censor. The word ap apocalypse is a Greek word. It really means revelation. And the censor is a container which, in which incense is burned. I invite you to join me in prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are thankful to you for another day. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for being with us. Now as we open your words, we pray that your Holy Spirit will inspire our thoughts and our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, as usual, our uh, lesson carries a key word. And the key word for this lesson is ready. Ready. Now we begin with Revelation's concept. Our first question. What command will someday be given by God to those who are unjust and filthy? Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. You see, when I look at this passage, it, it takes me to a football match where the referee blows that whistle and run up and down the field for 90 minutes. But at the end of those 90 minutes, he blows the whistle for the last time. And when that whistle is blown, that is it. It is finished. Now, this is one of the most unusual passage in the Bible and in Revelation. It, and God announced that everyone, good or bad, must remain where they are. This passage speaks to a time frame. It's a... Uh, Earlier in verse 10 of Revelation 22, it says the time is at hand. It speaks basically about our time. Early in Revelation chapter 7, it talks of the righteous being sealed. All who are sealed cannot be lost. Then in chapter 13, it talks about those who are marked. All who are marked cannot be saved. So it is a really crucial passage. Really, this speaks to what is termed in theological terms, the close of human Probation. Those who are sealed cannot be lost. Those who are marked cannot be saved. Now, what will Jesus do shortly after heaven's pronouncement for all people to remain in character what they are? Revelation 22:12. He will come quickly. He will come 
quickly. Now, another time key to tell us approximately when this will happen is in this passage. After this announcement, it follows the coming of Jesus. The door of salvation is closed before Christ's return. This has a far-reaching implication. One, it means that there will be no split-second repentance at the last moment when Jesus is coming. And two, there will be no second chance to get saved after Christ's second coming. These are crucial information. There are some people who believe that they can go on doing what they are doing, which is unrighteous living, and when it all begins to happen, when they see Jesus coming, they could snap into right living. Friends, that's a dangerous premise on which to operate. Now, when Christ shuts the door, what is man powerless to do? Revelation 3 and verse 7 says, He is powerless to open it. When Christ closed the door, no man can open. And when he opens, no man can close. We must not take lightly the last few years of time that we have left. We will not always be able to repent. You heard me. We will not always be able to repent. Some people are living in sin, thinking that they will enjoy sinning. And at the nick of time, they could repent. That's a dangerous living. I say to you that we need to ensure today, no wonder the Bible says, you know, today if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. It is today. We only have today. None of us have tomorrow. Let us do what we have to do today. When we come for the next presentation, we will look at this biblical concept as we search the background work in the scriptures. I invite you to bow your heads with me. Father in heaven, we thank you for the study of your words. We thank you that you continue to inspire our thoughts and our minds. Continue to bless us is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remember, if you need additional information or more clarity on any of these presentations, you can contact your local Seventh-day Adventist church. God bless you, and we see you next time.